whether you want to know behind the scenes or if you want to take I Make Up Pictures yourself. That was awesome. Good job. Hi guys, it's Tay. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do a video talking about how I take my I Make Up Pictures for my Instagram page. So hopefully this video will be interesting for you guys, whether you're curious behind the scenes or if you want to take I Make Up Pictures yourself. So the thing to keep in mind before you start is to know what you want your Instagram to look like. What kind of aesthetic do you want? And then next, you're obviously going to want to create a makeup look. So whether it's glam, natural, neutral, artistic, colorful, whatever it is, you're going to need to create it. And one tip that I would give you is make sure that you do it in good lighting. Create your makeup look, apply it in good lighting. You want to see the details, you want to see the color accuracy, you're, you're just going to want to do it in good lighting. So whether that's sitting in front of a window with natural light coming in or like a lighted makeup mirror. One of my favorites is a mirror from Fancy Co. It's called the Nala. I love it because I can sit up close and see all of the detail. I can see the color accuracy and to make sure that my makeup look looks great in great lighting. So super important. And while we're on the subject of lighting, when you finish your makeup look, you're gonna want good lighting to take a picture of it. And I can't stress this enough. It doesn't matter if you have the best eye makeup look in the world. If you take a picture of it without good lighting, it is not going to look good. So in my bedroom, which is where I take my eye makeup pictures now, I have this huge window. But the wall that I take my pictures on is kind of not directly in the light and so I like cast a shadow on the side of my face. So I have like an LED softbox that I'll bring into my room and I'll set it up there and then um, just take my pictures like that. But you don't have to go spend money on a softbox or a ring light. If you have a window with some daylight coming in, you can take your pictures there. I have used natural light so so much and it works great. So next you want to think about what you want to take your eye makeup pictures with. I personally use my phone. I've used my iPhone 6S for years and it's really old and I've had it for a really long time but it still works great. Like I said, lighting is key. Now if you're using your phone, you're going to want to use your back camera because you want the quality to be the best that it can. You're probably thinking, well if I'm using the back camera, how can I see what I'm doing? So I highly suggest that you get a handheld mirror and I just have a cheap one from like the dollar store and I hold it up and then I'm able to like use my phone and check all of the angles and make sure that it all looks good and I can actually see what I'm doing. So if you don't do that, I highly recommend it. It will make your life so much easier. So the part that I think is the hardest part is finding an angle. Now there's tons of rules with lighting and angles and all of that with photography. I don't want to go into that. But all I can say is practice. Practice, practice, practice. It is going to take a lot of practice to figure out what looks good and what you like because we're all different and we all prefer different things and I, it's just like learning something like learning an instrument or whatever you're going to need to practice it and you're going to need to find what works for you and what more often you'll find what doesn't work for you but i promise if you keep at it and stick with it and keep trying it will get better and it will get easier and you will find something that works for you. Something that you can do is look at someone's pictures that you really, really like and try to not copy them, but kind of like learn from that and try to, I don't know, just for somewhere to start if you have no idea where to start. You don't want to go wipe off your makeup look and then go through your pictures and notice that you didn't get one that you like. That's terrible. You don't want to spend a bunch of time on a look that you're proud of only to not have a picture that you like. So take lots of pictures. When I first started doing makeup looks, I took hundreds of pictures just for one look and I would condense it down into maybe about five images that I liked and then picking my favorite from there. So always make sure you have a lot of pictures. You can never take too many. And then the ones that you don't like, just delete them all when you finally have one for sure that you like. So. Then you can choose to edit it or not and something that I like to do is make an album on my phone and I call it like my makeup Instagram album and I will like plan out my looks. I'll do like multiple in a day and then I'll plan out how, the, how I want 
I'll plan out what order I want the looks to be so that I can kind of make sure that my Instagram stays cohesive and that I can have that overall aesthetic that I want. So if you don't do that, there's an idea. It helps me immensely. So that is how I like to take eye makeup pictures for my Instagram. I hope that you guys found this helpful or just entertaining or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you guys ever have any comments on content that you would like to see, please feel free to tell me. I would love to hear from you guys. So yeah, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.